Many thought my running style was unusual, but there was method and technique. The strides were short, but I had great leg speed. There was economy of movement, aiding the endurance essential for 200 and 400 meters. That relaxed, upright posture, shoulders in line, head still, meant I was able to flow across the track. My style, however, was never ideal over the shortest of the sprints. The 100 meters. We like to talk about 100 meters as being in phases. The explosive start. Then there's the drive phase, head down, keeping low allows the buildup of speed, pushing out the track with the toes, arms pumping back and forth, using that upper body strength. It's all about acceleration. The stride phase, now you're approaching maximum velocity. Head in line with the spine, relaxed, elbows at 90 degrees, stride extended, the classic high knee lift. If it's close, you'll need to lean for the line. 100 meter sprinters are powerful, of course, and generally not too tall, as height and long limbs have long been regarded as a major disadvantage in the early phases of the race. But not too short either, as a good stride length is an advantage in that final sprint for the line. 